What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Okay, uh, another episode of BFFs. And uh, to be Let's honest, go. I don't know what's going on. So we got a little surprise. There's coming? like a surprise guest or something. Josh, you don't know who it is, do you? We have a surprise guest coming on. I, I, there, there is a surprise guest that just so happens to be in Josh's house right now. So we were supposed to have Dan oh, Bazirian yeah. on, and then he canceled. <laughs> so last minute, we got a special guest, probably our one of our most requested What's guests it ever. What's going to be, Gruen? Not Gruen, but definitely very requested, and is probably just going to hop on and talk to us for a little bit, maybe join for headlines, and yeah. So First of all, Blazarian, like... Kareem, you were up my ass. Like, oh, he's coming to the office. I got to be home from Montauk. I got to be in the office. Then he's like, nope, we're going to do it remote. He's in Thailand. And now he's just not on at all. What the fuck? It went this from, is why I get different. It's like, come to the office for this, that, this. And then I'm like rearranging schedules. And then my man's not even here. I did want to talk to Blazarian because. That would have like, been cool. Him and BFFs. Yeah. And I think there's right. a million questions. Like, there's so many rumors about him that I would have liked to ask him. Um but yeah, he fucked us over, I guess, right? So, yeah. so are we never doing it? Are we not doing the? No, he was yeah, supposed whatever. to do Zoom, and then he backed he out. Wants of that to come too. on at a later date. I don't really know what that means. He's coming out with a book, so I think he was coming on to promo the book and just. He just, dropped like the book off in my office. It looks like a movie script. Like I'm gonna read the book. Like whatever. <laughs> but all right, so Blazarian's out. Um, I guess that's not totally why I'm in New York, but. He's out, and that, I, Josh obviously knows who this special guest is. Yeah, Has to. yeah, no, I do. Why would I this do. be like you can't tell Bree and I? Well, I just, I just thought it would be better if we just it was a surprise. I mean, it's really not. It's just very requested. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, all right, come in, guest, let's go. It's my I sister knew Olivia. It. We knew it. <laughs> That's your yeah. sister. Yeah, yeah, it's my sister, and she's been heavily requested. Yes. Yeah, a she's lot. like every comment is always like, bring on Olivia Richards. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hello, Olivia. Hi, guys. So let's give the background. How old are you, Olivia? I'm 17. I turn 18 on the 19th. Are oh, you 17 and a half. That's sick. Okay. <laughs> so are you like, is she, are you famous? Um, <laughs> Josh's sister. Compared to Josh? No, not at all. Like how many, but, oh, cute dog. How many followers do you have on like TikTok? Um... Oh, okay. she's pulling up the oh, receipt. I don't, oh, I don't, come on. You don't pull, know. I don't, even, I don't know off the top of my head. I've got to, I've got to check. Cap. So I have <laughs> 383,000 on TikTok. Okay. All right. And do you – I haven't checked. Do, do you, like, make TikToks and shit? I do. Um, most times I just post when I feel like posting, like, just for the fun of it. It's not like I'm like, okay, I got to post every day. Got but. it. So what's it – I mean, I got a million questions. I didn't know you were coming on, clearly. <laughs> what, what's it like having your brother be, like, wildly famous? Besides, like, it just, like, rocking all the time, obviously. <laughs> um, that's a great question. So, <laughs> <laughs> at school, nobody really talks about it because before Josh got famous, he was already kind of, like, popular, I would say. Like, he knew, like... Sick. He knew, like, a lot of people in Coburg, so, like, when everyone in Coburg found out, they were kind of like, oh, What's that's Coburg, pretty cool. the school? That's our town. Okay, just, like, all right. just, like, exposed yep. our tiny little town. Hopefully no, like, murderers try to find us now. But... Okay. Oh. Continue. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so nobody really asks questions. Nobody, like, comes up to me, like, freaking out, like, oh, my God, like, you're Josh's sister. But some people, like, if I don't know them as well, They'll definitely be like, how is it? Like, is it like weird? And I'm like, oh, it's cool. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that was, that, that nice. was enlightening. Nice. That was an <laughs> great, enlightening great. description. <laughs> it's cool. Do, do you think that some <laughs> girls use you just to get to Josh through you? Um, It's actually funny because like me and Josh made a TikTok about that one time. But no, not like I've never had a no girl. No one's ever texted you? Been like, yo asked to hang out all of a sudden when I like came back to town no never once no my close friends <laughs> my close friends Mackenzie and Abby like they they make jokes about it and they'll be like oh my god Josh is home okay we're sleeping over but it's like I've been best friends with them for like 
since right. I was in grade seven, so I know they're joking. Right. But other but than not, that, but yeah, I uh, well, we we don't know. <laughs> I don't know when I'm out now. I probably get. Mm, it depends where I am, but I get a lot of the like, and I can always tell they're always a little bit on the younger. But like, hey, give Josh my number, or like you everywhere know, I go, we, same. Yeah, we we get I get mm-hmm. a decent amount of that. Um, all right, right, so you're gonna do the headlines with us. Let's do the headlines together. Sure. All right. Let's go. So how long are you in town for, by the way? How long are you visiting? Um, we're visiting for 10 days, so I leave on the 22nd. So the whole fam is there? Yep. yep. We got my brother, my sister, my dad, my mom. Okay, cool. My, my mom and dad's right. anniversary is today, so they're on a little, like, wine tour adventure. Getting sloshed. Are, they're <laughs> down in, like, Napa, you mean? Yeah, something like that. I love that place. That's one of my favorite places on earth. Um, okay, so welcome, Aunt Olivia, right? Did I get that right? Yes. Yeah, Olivia. All right, perfect. Nice. nice um, per- hey, that's huge. Headlines. That's huge. Dave pronouncing the name right? That's pretty big. <laughs> that's an easy name, <laughs> Olivia. It is an easy name to pronounce. Uh, all right, so first headline that I'm seeing, Josh went on Tiny Meat Gang as his clone, and they fucked up his face. It just looked like you got acne and all this shit. Uh, they were boils. I don't know what they Tiny Meat Gang is. Should I? You know you know Cody Co. and Noel Miller, who we had on? Yes. That's their podcast. Gotcha. So Josh went on for their 200th episode. Gotcha. Okay. And then they did this to the face. Um, Josh pokes fun at Nessa's song, Pain. What? I don't know. That's what it says here. I'm just reading the headlines. <laughs> uh. So they had your fa- Did you know they were doing that face the whole time? What? Did you know they did that to your face the whole time? I, I like, it was a makeup thing. <laughs> oh, I thought they, like, did, like, graphics after. No, 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 no. It was, like, I was in a chair for, like, 35 minutes. Got it. Putting, like, boils all over me. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Is it just always pain? Doesn't end. Okay, 24 hours a day? 24. Maybe 25. Wow, we really fucked that up. We did fuck <laughs> that up. Dang. See, this, <sighs> the stand accounts are really going to misinterpret that as well. Yeah. Oh, he's always in pain. Yeah. That's Nessa's song name. <laughs> I'm in pain, as I once said. Good quote. <laughs> Moving on. I, I thought it was a funny joke. I thought it was well. I mean, well you're good. I, I get the vibe. You're you're, uh, you're pretty much over that like debacle, right? Yeah. It was like it was just like it was like a funny little like ah oh, perfect timing. It's like sitting right there. You know what I mean? Like I was. It's like it's like when you can make like a like a yeah. That's what she said. Joke. Olivia. You know it's like your jaw. Right jo- obviously, like your you know Josh, your brother. Did you want to kill those two when that went down? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was very shocked. Don't actually. don't you don't need to be politically correct. You can drop the like politically correct act. Well, I'm just like <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't want to say sling anything. It. That's like, I mean, it's your brother. Like, how did you? Yeah, yeah how did you saying, feel? Just sling it. Um. Yeah, I was pretty pissed. I was like, I honestly just felt bad for Josh mainly because I didn't really know Jaden or Nessa that well. I mean, I met Nessa once, but she's like the shyest person right. I've ever met. So we never really like had like a conversations. So I just mainly felt bad for Josh. Were you like on my nice. side on that? Were you like, go get him, Dave? Because I was like all <laughs> over the place during that. Like I, I was kind of new to the whole thing, but it's like, whoa, because I sound like I talked to Nessa more than you. Like weirdly, like, you know, I, we had her on the podcast a couple of times. So, and I don't care about either. So I'm not trying to redig on them, but as curious your take. Yeah. Um, I definitely, Got a kick out of all like the social media posts for sure. Like, oh, just got a kick out of my torture. Eh? Well, <laughs> no, 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 not fucking. not that. <laughs> <laughs> no, just like some of the things that like people were posting about Jaden and Nessa, like shitting on Jaden and Nessa. Oh, you thought it was funny. I thought it was so funny. Yeah, I can see yeah. that. Um, okay, and now we got Josh on BFFs. Which I don't even know what that means because that's our show. Talking right. about BFFs, I think. Oh, I say. okay. <laughs> on the other podcast. But the podcast has been doing amazing. Like Dave's obviously a character, right? Yeah. So it's it's giving me a whole new demographic as well, and giving Dave a new demo. That was the whole plan going into it. It's like he's touching into Probably this TikTok area, there, and then in. I had no male fans. Weird. Like I mean, I would walk down the street, and it's like. Me, the only time a guy came up to me is if he was gonna say some like slur at me and call me gay or something. You know what I'm saying? Wow! Like, like that was it. It was it was brutal. And then now after the bar stool, I think like one, I was <clears> able <throat> to show more depth of who like Josh Richards was. Besides just like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but no, it just gave me that demo. Like now I'll go to sports games or go wherever, and it's like, oh shit! Like there's guys everywhere. Like I used to be able to go to like a <laughs> hockey game or something, would not have to worry about anything. Like, yeah, wouldn't yeah. have to worry about a picture, nothing. And now it's like, which is super cool. 
So that's good. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. We've talked about it. I think it's worked. And I'm the opposite. I have little 14-year-old girls coming up. I'm like, oh, you're a drug <laughs> right? um, By the way, as we're talking about that, we do have to talk about the logo. Yeah. The logo has finally... Look at, look at Josh looking behind him. Where are you looking, what, what Josh? Are you looking at, Josh? <laughs> what logo? I'm the BFFs. The BFFs. Logo. All the people oh. fighting for me in the yeah. comments. So we added. We're gonna get rid of that top asterisk, but we have finally added Brianna Chicken Fry to the logo. Thank you, oh, guys. Oh fuck! Finally. Yeah. That's a that's a round of applause. It's been a Let's long go. time coming. And I don't know the wow. logo. I have to do every. I, I was like, hey, can we add it? So credit to me for adding. Thank it you, finally. Dave. Thank yeah, you. yeah. Good job, Brianna. Your your logo logo certified now. Correct. I'm official now. Um, the next one. Yeah. So you got the matching tattoos, yeah. and now you got the matching, what is this, chicken necklace? Yeah. Yeah? How much wow. these cost you? Oh, the, the, so we have, <laughs> Silvana and I have uh, chicken necklaces, is what this says. They it's, call each other chicken. Chicken. That's why. The, the necklaces are fire. I got I guys just, asking where I, I got just, the necklace. They have no idea that they're matching or nothing. She gets a lot of compliments. I'm actually, it's on. Oh, let's see it. Yeah, it, it, it's a chicken. Oh, it's actually kind of sick. It, it looks like the emotion. I didn't know it was like blinged out like that. So yeah, he's right. a simp is what like I'm here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> nice. Play, all right. Nice. Now nice. I know how it's going. No, I, I like go. the chains. They look good. But yeah, we get the matching chicken necklaces and it's the name. Um, you didn't answer Bruce's question. What was the question? How, how much those cost you? Oh, they're expensive. Yeah. Like, right. What's the number, though? <laughs> uh, we can do an over under. Okay, over but, uh, one under. guess. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. you wait, probably wait, wait. know more about chains. You guess, Josh. Each or for both? Well, you got two, right? So, one. So let's both? do the price of one. Price let's of do the one. price of one. Okay, price of one. Yeah. What do you think, Josh? Ten thousand over or under. Over. Like, like, is that like an easy it, over? It, no, it, it's pretty close. Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow. That's why I was like shaking my head trying to figure it out. Um, right. But yeah, no, I actually. Did you think get them they like custom cool. made? Yeah, they're custom made. Sick. I don't think you can. So just it's go like yellow or get a like, chicken, get a chicken chain. Emoji. Why a chicken? What? Why a chicken? <sighs> Explain. Did you feed that question to her? No, I'm just. No, <laughs> it's uh, a it's valid like, question. Why, we, if we you're buying a necklace that's <laughs> over ten grand, why is it? A chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we just started calling each other chicken. It's like the pet name. Every couple kind of has it, right? And then like hey, hey, you, post, you I do a, a chicken. Name? So the chicken emoji became like a Can't thing say I've chicken. ever been called a pet name, but. Every couple has. Other than you know name. what's crazy? Or maybe. Me and my boyfriend been dating for two and a half years. You call each other chicken? Not anymore. I had to cut it out after. <laughs> that. I was like, this is weird. Oh, I can't, I can't use the brutal. chicken anymore. You, so. that's but that's brutal. what you were calling? Yeah. That is fucking weird. Yeah, really fucking hey, weird. So once their... I heard that you guys are the chickens, I was like, we got to But stop. all right, in all seriousness, <laughs> this chain, aside from it, if, even if it was just solo, it's fire. It is a cool, it is. cool chain. It's like blinged out too. And I, I, I was wearing a different chain before. I like this one more. It, it sometimes looks a little extreme depending on I'm wearing, but I like it. You had so the yeah. pirate dog one. Before, yeah, pirate right? dog. Yeah. 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 Now we got the gold. Yeah. Now we got the, the gold chicken. Um, shout out your to, ex? and I'm going to shout out. It's actually um, Shane Shaughnessy, I believe. She's like a jeweler and she made it. She's awesome. So if you want custom shit, she's, they got hit by COVID like everybody else. So she's made me both chains and she's awesome. Um, hey, Dave. Yes. You call. Did you have a pirate dog necklace? Because that, that was like the ex's nickname. You called her pirate dog. Who? No, <laughs> no. That that was like an alternate logo for Barstool. Basically, uh -oh. I never wore chains. That'd be sick. I started wearing one kind of as a joke, and I thought it looked good. So it's like, what do I get for a chain? And I had one made. I like this one more. Um, Sweet. All right, moving on. Sway House official end. Uh, Blake Gray is moving to Texas for a bit. Josh and Anthony moved into the old hype house. We talked about that. Bryce Hall tweeted he left Sway. With a, I left Sway. Bryce unfollowed Blake Gray on Instagram, and Blake Gray, Blake Gray tweeted, uh, Blake Gray tweeted a new chapter go. awaits. So back and forth again. We always talk about Bryce. To me, this is not a huge story. I guess it's like I feel how, like how many times can this be a story? Right, is my. This question. has been a headline like a lot. Sway is over. Is there something yeah. between Bryce and Blake that they play the like childhood game of unfollowing each other? I I don't. I don't think so. I don't think Blake unfollowed Bryce. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was like Bryce just trying to spark some. I don't, I like. I have no idea on that part. But what? What sway? What sway is he leaving? 
Yeah, Sway seems like he's not dead. even there anymore. Olivia, who's like, your favorite Sway besides obviously your brother or a former Sway? Like, did you like any of the guys that's a good more than question. others? Um, so I never met any of them. What, but, but did you keep her in like a? She didn't meet your girlfriend. She didn't meet like. <laughs> dude, your, no, she did. She I met, did meet Nessa. No, I did meet Nessa. It was just like the boy because of COVID. It was like Got it. I came down here. COVID hit. And it was like my my parents weren't going to send my 17 year old sister down here alone in my supervision while I was fair lunatic. And then at the same time, it was like it was COVID. So she would have had to miss two weeks of school on top of being here because of the quarantining. So it would have been like would have been a waste. Got it. So you have no opinion then, Olivia? I don't really have opinion. You don't have one off just like their social media videos. Like, is there any that just make you go like, uh, or what about some that are like like, on TikTok in general, like social media people like who who is. Who, what posts are you putting up in your room? Oh gosh, that's that's a good question. We should have done Definitely like a no hot posters in my room. Definitely no posters. Well, in my but room. like you know what I mean. Um, oh, I think Vinny Hacker is pretty attractive. What? <laughs> Easy, Be we could have guessed that one. Of course, yeah, I know. Like, be more typical. Okay. Um, no, you can answer that. It's just cliche. It is. I know. I think I've seen like so many edits of him. I think I'm just like okay, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. like I think he's attractive too. Uh, BFF's new Bryce Hall, Josie Canseco share a kiss to celebrate Bryce's birthday, like a makeout. Yeah, pop some bottles Let's of champagne get, and then made is, out. Is, is that a video? Oh, shit. When he was being seen with like Riley a couple weeks ago, and everyone thought they were dating. Interesting. So, is this the video here, Bryce and Josie? Yep. Is it like a paparazzi? No, they're at a party. It's at Bryce's birthday party. Hmm. He, he was so hyped after that. Full boned up on that counter. Sorry. 22, baby. <laughs> ah! Yes. I, yeah, we, we got to get her on. Josie posted an Instagram story saying, happy birthday, one of my best friends with Bryce. It appears you may have stayed the night. There's the picture of that. Um, prior to Bryce's birthday, Riley, who Botka, the girl he's been most recently seen with, has been kissing, making content around, posted TikTok and Twitter in response to an Instagram post of Bryce with another girl. Who knows? You never know what to make. I right. Know. You never know what's real. But I feel like Bryce might have led Riley on. I feel like Riley might have think thought it was real. And then he's just seen kissing with another girl and then also with uh, Josie. And then Riley just tweets, keeping yeah, my mouth shut. a lot shut. of MKs. Big MK guy. Bunch of makeout kills. <laughs> Is that what? It, I've never heard that. You never heard of a little MK? Actually? No, I haven't. No? I think, I think you a, just made that up kill. right there. Did you just make no, that up? That's a thing. I mean, I am a genius, so I'll, I'll act like I made it. I like that. <laughs> I like an MK. I've heard of kills, right? but like... Not yeah, MK. No, it's kills, like for everything. What do you mean? You got a little little VK, a little virtual kill? <laughs> I've never heard It's that. like when you're making this the eye some contact with the girl, shit, and it's like, you eye fuck them. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, ah, just, hey, boys. I think only this kid talks like that. No, I like that MK, make out kill. It's like almost... Yeah, me and like Brisson. Like, I don't know if you know who Brandon Brisson is. He's a kid, like, he got drafted to Vegas Golden Knights. Like, I'll be hanging out with that. It's just like a joke we all have. Make out kill, I like it. It's like MK, VK, virtual kill, you know? Get a little... Yeah, I, I I don't know what counts as anything. Like to me, that makeout, I I don't know. I, I there's nothing to they're they're together all the time. It seems like though, I do see that. Um, He's too old to know. Met Gala, Addison Ray, Emma Chamberlain may have been invited. May have been invited to the Met Gala. What do you mean may have been invited to the Met Gala? <laughs> Obviously, I could see Addison. I don't know who Emma Emma Chamberlain is. I could totally see Addison Ray getting invited. What does that mean? Do they belong here? Listen, I used to sweat the Met Gala like nothing else, but they let anybody in. Right. Now. Really? So, yeah. like, should we go? Should we do a little BFS hit the Met Gala this year or what? Like, the, well, I definitely <laughs> wouldn't get in, but you may. But it is a funny, probably, event to do the red carpet. It's like the most exclusive event. But I have felt Damn. like recently I've seen people. I wouldn't expect to see at the Met Gala. Yeah. But I, I feel like I would expect like, her to be there. Like Addison and Charlie and Emma too. Emma Chamberlain's 100%. huge. Addison would be there. 100%. She's already planning her looks. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You know she's going to be doing something crazy too, like a clear mask that mm-hmm. she has like one of her servants holding or something again. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't bail. I don't think she will. We're going to have her live in studio in a couple weeks. I was going to say, I know we're having a bad streak at the same time as the Met Gala in New York. 
So that's good. Oh, right? that's good. So she oh, has yeah, to yeah, be she's here. She's to be in New York. All right, that yeah. bolds well. Um, Bama mm-hmm. rushing TikTok. Sorority, sorority rush has been taking place at the University of Alabama. The girls rushing have been taking over the For You page on TikTok. We actually, there's a Bama girl who reached out and was basically like, can we make a video for you guys like broadcasting it, which would have been hilarious, but let's see what we got. Yeah, this is completely taken over TikTok. Okay, hey guys, OOTD. I know a lot of you were worried that I didn't post one yesterday. Nothing happened. I just didn't have any houses. So, yeah. Yeah. This dress is actually from TJ Maxx. I don't know the brand. I'll probably comment it down below after this is over, like when I take it off. It was one of those ones with the purple tags, which yeah. is designer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it has shoulder pads and it's super cute. And my earrings are from. <laughs> I wish I remembered. I think it's like the pants store or something. Regular jewelry. I know y'all don't like when I say that, <laughs> but eh. okay. Here's my shoes. Uh, Haley's gonna get a better video of them right now. Whoa. Ooh. Okay, Gianni Beanie. Okay, Jeannie Beanie. Okay, Haley, go. Okay, so my dress is from Martin's. My shoes are from. They're my favorite ever. They are from Dillard's, and they're the brand Gibson Latimer. And then my earrings are from Emma's Boutique. Hey. Uh, my mom's watch, DOTK Boutique, Kendra Scott, uh, David Yerman, David Yerman, and then some Auburn Market, I think. Yay! Prep day! So that's like a minute outfit of the day, and then here's here's another one. <laughs> that was a great outfit. Like, she told what, us I don't. What was the point of that video? The, those are the ones that are going viral. So that one was like an outfit of the day. Here's another one, and then there's one Sway-themed one, too. Choose your Those are all the girls that are going. They're kind of becoming their own like influencers in a way. Like they're becoming yeah. huge on TikTok, and people are choosing sides of certain girls. Like they're like, oh, I want this girl to be in this sorority, and okay. like it's becoming the like a, the top one though. The first one that showed, she got dropped from all of the houses in Bama, and the people on TikTok are starting a riot. And she because like she got dropped. Yeah, she got dropped from every single house. Okay. Jeez, are you gonna I join one? No. Good choice. I feel like they're weird. Where are you going to college? Uh, I'm going to Queen's University. It's in Kingston. Hmm. Nice. Sway theme day? Yeah, we can look at the final one. This is going to be as exciting as the first two. <laughs> I'm not oh, a boxer. <laughs> I'm not a fighter. I've never claimed to be a fighter. I'm going to knock out Austin because I'm an actual fighter, and I got two guns right here. I- okay, that was that one was kind of good. Yeah, that was good. Do you get a million people, Josh, asking you, like, hey, say, rush this person, rush this sorority, rush that sorority? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they'll or they'll ask me to come on to their like. Um, yeah, their Zoom like chapter. I, they always ask me like to come on their chapter. Zooms or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Dave, do, Dave threw just, up the the tri delt this weekend. Yes, that's the first time I've ever done that. Yeah, I, I say, thought you don't do that. I don't. But you do now. Well, Silvana asks. I do. Oh, her. okay, okay. We have angry sorority uh, girls that aren't in tri delt that are like, "Hey, we asked Dave, why is he doing tri delt now if he never does them?" But the answer is obviously well, he Silvana. does it for chicken. He, yeah, for correct. Chicken. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's a <laughs> fire picture chick too. Pee. I will say, do it for Chick PA, Dave. I've do never had pee. this, but like when I'm in a picture with Silvana, she like face tunes me, so I look fucking awesome. <laughs> right? But I mean, right. I, I when she posts something, it's like wow. I'm Did she fucking, teach you how to no, use it I have yet? No fucking clue how to do it. You should try it out. Lying. I would He's love to see you learn. try to He's work face tune. I have no idea how to do it. I'm, She's trying to make you look better. Is that yeah, it's so like I want to be. I don't want him to look ugly. <laughs> it's fix you She's up like, a little I can bit. be seen with that yeah. guy. So the eyes are like bling and everything. She's probably taking in the love handles Tans a little. You up. Take it, yeah. Well, I'm pretty tan. Nice. Again, like, um, yeah, the tri delt. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but like, I couldn't even make the triangle. She edited my thumb to make it more triangular. Are you serious? <laughs> Do you have small thumbs or I something? Just, it's like they're very serious about the triangle. And my sister was in tri. Oh, you can't make it. So it like worked. Um, okay. Uh, videos to react to. Pizza review? Is this me doing a pizza review? No. And don't forget to give it to a crackhead. Oh. <laughs> I totally got to feed it to a crackhead. Pretty good. That's one of the more viral pizza reviews I've ever had. Yep. Uh, yep. You have no idea what was going on in that no, video, eh? I was very confused. Completely yeah. lost. Yeah. yeah the, I did an original one in Miami and an actual, like, 
crackhead with no arms. Who's actually Miami famous? Interrupted it. And don't forget to give it to a crack addict. That's all we got on the beach, crack addict. Jacob Saturis concert TBT. One two three A B C D E F G H I J K L M N N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. One two three A B C D E H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V Y A Z A. That's actually kind of fire. A hundred blocks to see him do A B C's. He had steez though while doing it. I don't hate that. Like some, uh, I can see how that would people go bananas for like an alphabet. T U V. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I you know the words. Must kind of feel yeah, you automatically know the one. song. Yeah. Okay. Um, are we doing it? What are we doing next? Uh, we got answer the internet, and then we have uh, another guest coming in too. Okay. All right, we've talked about it a bunch. Uh, we get the big fight: Jake Paul versus Tyrone Woodley. That is. Uh, Sunday, I'm not even looking at the ad read. I know it's Sunday, August 29th. Myself, Big Cat, we're going to be on the Showtime broadcast. We have the Barstool Tale of Tape, so we're going to be on it. Uh, nice suits, nice everything, and this is going to be a huge fight. Uh, Tyron Woodley is going to be the best opponent Jake Falls. Paul has seen yet as he continues to try to prove himself as a real boxer. Go to Showtime.com slash PPV to order now. Again, uh, it's Jake Paul, Tyrone Woodley, a five-fight pay-per-view event in Jake Paul's hometown, Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, Everybody's going to be watching this, talking about it. Jake Paul puts ass in the seats. Big fight. I'm excited to see what happens. And again, I will be on the broadcast with uh, big cat. So go to Showtime, get the Showtime app, showtime.com slash PPV, order it. It's also available via all major cable satellite telco pay per view providers for fifty nine ninety nine. Big guest day. And then we have Livy Dunn, too. That will be this week's episode. Jeez. Still, Josh is still licking his wounds on that one. Yeah, yeah that was a tough epi for me. Yeah, you must. Least, I forgot about that. How did out. you not know she didn't have a boyfriend? You didn't ask her? Know. Were you it's like, it, oh, dead, I, like dead I was serious. picking up all, I was trying to like just like snap, like pick up on vibes and like, you know? <laughs> and I like didn't it's not like it was all like girls post their boyfriend all the time. Would like would you would she have been on the show if we knew she had a boyfriend? Yeah. I think I so. I don't discriminate. No. I don't discriminate. I don't, I don't know if Josh would have pushed her. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Come on. I would have been like, hey, come on the pod. <laughs> let's <laughs> all right. Let's uh, talk about answer the gymnastics. Internet. If you were taken hostage five years ago, what would surprise you most about the world today? So if you were just living in a basement for five years and then you wake up. I mean, not to get deep, but there's just the amount of fucking hate. Like, it, it, you know, the world, everyone hates each other. Yeah. It's like, that, that's what, pre-Trump? It's like, what, as Trump, post-Trump, it's just everyone fucking hates each other. It's a big division. Yeah. Huh. I mean... I would say probably COVID, no? Yeah, COVID's probably a great answer. Maybe from a social media. Especially, aspect. that's the right I mean, uh, yeah. now that we're getting back in the mask, <laughs> if you just like, yeah. everyone's wearing masks and all that shit. So yeah, that's probably a good answer. Probably a perfect answer. Or just seeing kids like Josh be super rich and famous from just yeah. taking their shirts off, that would probably blow my mind. I, it's got to be <laughs> COVID. Hey, thanks, Bree. It's got to be COVID. Okay. Would you rather lose all your old memories or never be able to make new ones? I feel like I would definitely rather lose my memories. But you haven't Is even been you haven't you haven't been to college yet, so that's an easy answer. I feel like. Yeah, because then you just like ha- so you just, like, then you don't know anyone. Not remember what yeah. happened? So you you have no friends. You have no nothing. Like you don't know anything. <laughs> yeah. You oh wait, that is kind of weird. Because then like you, you just forget your family. It would like restart every day. And what does that mean? Memories. Like, I won't even come into work because I won't know where I work. Maybe, like, good, fun memories? I don't know. So I have just all the bad memories I remember? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think I'd I, I feel it, like because I'm I, young, I would pick new ones. I, like, I would pick to keep making new ones. Yeah. Yeah, what about you? Because you're a little older. Uh, yeah, I, I probably keep yeah, my old. Yeah, you're super old. I, I, I keep <laughs> my old. But I, to me, it's like if you forget your old – I, I may be just looking at this question too deep. Like mm. – yeah, but if you forget, if you forget old, everything, you really you're old? starting from scratch. It's like you're not like you don't even know. You're like a baby. Yeah, I guess though. Like, let's take Josh or something. He forgets all his 
memories. He has no idea like who he is, TikTok, any of that. But then people tell him and you're like, oh, okay, you can slide back into his life, I guess. I don't know. I'm keeping my old memories. I may be going too deep. Getting deep today. You don't want to forget. (laughs) If you could pick one celebrity to have your back in a bar fight, who would you pick? I feel like The Rock. The Rock? Nice answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. That's a solid answer. Jeez. Um, Celebrity? Who's like a... I guess I'll go like... I don't know. I feel like Mark Wahlberg. I'll go with him. He's like, he's a boy. He was from South Boston, like guy boxes too. I mean, I don't know. Can you pick like a like uh, Mike Tyson or like something? Like a UFC, like well, that's what I was thinking, but I don't think that counts. You got to do like a like a, a non fighting celebrity. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Um, non fighting celebrity. Non fighting celebrity. Hmm. I probably maybe go. Who? who oh, would? maybe Jason Momoa. He's huge. Maybe he's I'll huge. Take him. He is huge. I just, he's also just good to look at. You know who I would pick? Um, oh, I know who I'd pick. And now I'm, draw, I'm drawing a fucking blank on his name. Who's the uh, Suge Knight? Suge Knight? Um, Suge Knight. Like, wow. That's, okay. He's so intimidating. Oh, we could. Right. Yeah, he's just, we should have picked just, like rappers that are scary. Him. Does Bryce that, like, Hall murder. count as a celebrity? Like, could I pick him? I, I think that'll Not get you beat up. <laughs> yeah, I think that, that's an L. <laughs> like he's gonna get you in a fight and he's not tough enough to like win the fight he's, he'll start he's it and then the run back away door as soon, yeah. as soon do as you guys know who start. Suge Knight is yeah 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 he's like the one that uh like injected easy with age right I don't know that that ha- I, I've <laughs> never heard that what? I don't know about all that That's you haven't heard wild. that like conspiracy that yeah, has to be, be a conspiracy, conspiracy. I've never no but it like kind of adds up like I think I don't think so ah Shook Knight, Shook Knight just takes what he wants type guy. He's been in jail. He's been shot like a thousand times. You, he's That's like records. Oh yeah, Fifty Cent been shot. Maybe yeah, he's 50 a good Cent's one. A tough guy too. I go. Shug I mean, Knight. I'm, I'm just I'm, saying. I'm just saying. I saw this. It kind of seemed like it added up. Like so, Shook Knight goes and they beat him up. They beat up Easy E because he was like, I think it was like he was he was fucking one of the girls or like he was in the studio and anyways, blah blah blah. They end up coming beating him, and then. Uh, after that fight is when, like, he found out he had AIDS. Obviously, he was also fucking, so he could have just got AIDS. But very weird. Then Suge Knight goes on, like, Jimmy, like, one of those late night shows and says, like, ah, the way to kill people now is by shooting them. Like, you just inject them with AIDS. And it was, like, right near all the easy stuff happened. Like, it was very sus timing. I have just no idea what you're talking about. I've heard the conspiracy I, before. After the movie ha- came out, people talked up. about What's it. What's that man. movie again? Straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. Yeah. Straight out of Compton. Actually, it was easy. You beat someone up because they fucked his girl or something like that, and then they went and beat him up. So that'd be a crazy move, injecting someone I, with AIDS. I want it on right? the record that I, that this is Josh Richards accusing <laughs> Suge Knight of that, not Dave. Boy. I'm not saying. Ah, fuck. Now I'm dead. <laughs> just a conspiracy. Just a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. I'm just. I'm just like reporting on public information here. I went the opposite. I was like, I'll take him as my guy in a fight because yeah. I'm just how he's an oh, intimidating. Oh, he's a great pick. Yeah, it's a great pick. Okay, all right, all right. Next one. Who is the hottest celebrity that you would have a chance with if they got to know you? Hmm. That's tough though, because how would you know you would have a chance with them? You gotta think. Yeah, you gotta think of someone with personality. Uh, right. Yo, Zendaya. You think she'd love you? I'm Josh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, her boyfriend, she's dating somebody who's like short, not great looking. She's dating Tom Holland. What's so his name? Actually, yeah. maybe Dave, you yeah. have a better chance with her than Dave. But he's like awesome. Right? He's funny. <laughs> um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to. I feel like this question, knowing my relationship, will get me in trouble to answer yeah. it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying not. To like, I'm, I'm trying to like. I'm refraining because then it'll be like, oh, you think you have a chance. You're, you're trying to like. Make a move here. Do Silvana. Silvana's got 100,000 followers. Silvana. Yeah, you're picking yes. Silvana. Mm. I would say Adam Sandler, but I guess he's not really hot. He's hot to me. <laughs> Maybe like Margot Robbie would be sick. I don't think you'd have a fucking chance with Margot Robbie. Ah. Yeah, you're too young. She'd like look at you <laughs> as a little kid. Things have happened. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I say no chance on that. All right. All right this, thanks, I think one or two more. Okay. One okay. More. What is the craziest thing a girl or guy has ever done to you? Craziest? Oh, you have that crazy person? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I'm still in the midst of it. So. Yeah. Can't. What about you, Josh? How about you, Bree? No, you um, go first, Bree. I'm trying to think. Um, uh, I had a crazy ex-boyfriend that, like, stalked me for two years and would, like, write handwritten, handwritten like, diary notes and send them to my parents. And, Yikes. Like, yeah. That was crazy. Weird. That's, That's like some you type. Beat yeah. Shit. No, I couldn't watch you because it reminded me of him. Huh. <laughs> That's how crazy it got. That's a bit scary. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Olivia? Any weird people? I feel like I'm too young to have experienced some crazy like ex, but no, I don't think I've had any like interactions where I'm like, that was insane. Right. Um, I mean, craziest thing. It's probably just like been like if people like if weird people when they come up for like a, a picture like i don't want to say weird people but people when they come for a photo if they're at like a party and they're drunk or they just like they're just like touching me or like right like you know what i mean dave like, yeah you ever have that where people are just like i'll say that's just like weird yeah i don't get it like kind of like probably like you do i again i get more guys than i girls. mean i've had like random like fans come up and try to like grab my ass before like weird stuff like that yeah it's just like oh uh, you had that guy pants like, i get it i got a dump truck back there <laughs> like it's, it's appetizing but come on come on now all right so that's ask the internet uh summer slam will be wwe's biggest event 2021 headlined by megastar john cena versus uh wwe universal champion roman reigns live from allegiant stadium in vegas saturday august 21st so that's this saturday uh, and Barcelona is going to be all over it. Get full coverage, interviews, access over the next two weeks. Stay tuned. If you can meet with some of us in Vegas, it's going to be a party. Book your flights. Buy your tickets at Ticketmaster.com. If you want to check it at home, SummerSlam will be streaming live Saturday, August 21st at 8 p.m. on Peacock. And now, is he here? Yep. Yeah, he's here. Come all right. In. So we have QCP coming in, Sweet. who I guess you've had some history with. A little bit, oh, Josh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know him a little bit. So he is. What's Hello. up? You can just sit, sit right behind. For sure. So welcome. Oh, oh, he's in the studio. Yeah, he's in the yeah, studio. Yeah, he's well, here. He, 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 headset on. So you, yeah, he's here. Yeah, Olivia, those you know yours. QCP is? Yeah. No. There we go. Oh. All right, so QCP joining BFFs. Um, What's up, big man? So you live in Jersey, Josh? correct? Yeah, Josh, I thought yeah. he was in here. I was like, where, where's this guy? No, yeah, he's up there. You're from there Jersey, right? I'm actually not. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, yeah, why do I think you're from Jersey? Because the accent like thing? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, because you're cooking. Show you do <laughs> yeah, Jersey yeah, yeah. shit. All right. Oh, it's got I a different do know this sort guy. I know that, this guy. But, uh... Yep. Okay. So he's in the studio. We have, you're fighting in Rough and Rowdy, which is our boxing event. You're fighting mm. another chef, Chef Donnie. Um, but I didn't realize, I'm reading the headlines here, and you guys, Josh and QCP, you guys had some interact. Why does QCP we look did. like he's dark right now? Sorry. Like, is there any light? No, not you. It's our lighting. <laughs> Is there anything we can do about that? Oh, I'm my sorry. Phone flash on my face. Turn that on. You can turn the light on. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that helps. Probably should have done that the whole show, whatever. Yeah, no we fucked deal. up a little bit. Um, so what, what, it, what went on with you guys? Uh, so we were outside of Michael Gruen's house after a party. Everything started. Oh, my gosh. House. I Everything. forgot about Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was, Holy so cow. We, Josh, like, ended up messaging me the next how, day. How long ago happened. was this? Uh, it was, like, a year ago. Okay, so what happened? Yeah. Let's hear the story. Pretty much, so I was with my roommate. Yeah, Josh, what do you what do you got? What do you got from it? So, so yeah, this is how I see. It. Like, didn't your friend end up, or like someone you knew? I don't know if it was necessarily your friend, but like a kid you knew was with you guys at the party, said something, or like was acting weird to Addison. Addison was getting uncomfortable. Came into the house, talked to me and Bryce. Me and Bryce go outside and we start confronting the kid. And then he just like started freaking out, like threw his flip flops in the stream, was like, let's fight. And then was like yeah. walking around everywhere like crazy. And I was like, all right, let's go. And then like everyone just kind of like settled it down. What is this part of the story? I'm reading it. QCP's friend also went to the bathroom in Michael Gruen's bathroom. So yeah, that's where it originated. <laughs> I think it was uh, that. No, that came out of nowhere. So Michael pulled that out in the middle of the argument and was like, you also went into my fucking bathroom. <laughs> fuck you. Like, <laughs> that's fuck a great this guy. Good but it was move. the kid uh, was from. So it was like my roommate was from Pittsburgh and it was his friend from home who was visiting from Pittsburgh. So he was like, he's in Michael Gruen's house. Like he's never been to LA. And like, I think Addison gets out of her car, walks inside and on her way out or on her way inside, he kind of was just kind of like, like Addison Ray, like, whoa, freaked out a little bit. Cause he had never seen Addison Ray before or anybody, I guess. And then I guess overreacted and she might've felt uncomfortable from it. I didn't see exactly what he said. So if that happened, she went inside, talked to them. She, uh, and then they came back out and pretty much my roommate at the time was like, 
just did not even listen to what happened. I'm the one trying to like consult, the, figure the situation, fix the problem. He didn't give a shit. He just rolled in, was like, you talking shit to my friend? Started going Who did crazy. Your roommate did my this? roommate, yeah. yeah. So he's he's a he's a pretty famous person. I'm not going to say his name right now, but Why? Um, Josh, I don't know. Maybe Josh. Maybe Josh has has any. Uh, I don't. I don't remember his name. I don't think. I mean, it was like I saw him for an hour, and then it was. He, he, so was he was the one that just got big heat for dating Millie Bobby Brown. Oh. If you guys got any on that, that was big. Like big. We talked about that. Stuff. We talked about it on BFFs. He was like, um, he went on live and started talking a bunch of shit about how he like groomed Millie Bobby Brown and shit. I don't know his name either. That's yeah. a weird Jake weird Bon brag. Jovi. So that was my roommate Jake at the time. Jake Bon Jovi? I don't know. Is that him? <laughs> no, I know it's not. So that's her current boyfriend. One year age difference. Actually. Not, so him, not him. This guy's 19. He was 20. It's like, it's a Jake mess. Jake Bon. But, uh, what name it, is that? Jake jo- Bon Jovi. No, John, no, actual she's John Bovey. Bovey's son. Oh, I know him. That's yes, who Millie yeah. Bobby Brown's dating, dating now. now, I guess. Wait, which, which, I know the kid with the Hampton water, the wine guy? No, he's younger. Okay. Because he's I like 20. What, yeah, the I kid's know, 19. Okay, I don't yeah, know him. Yeah. I, I know the older. I like, yeah. But that's not him. So it's it's okay. another, Hunter another guy. Echo. Hunter Echo. And um, he pretty much is just, you know, he's a dude, rough dude from Pittsburgh, wanted to start beef with whatever he could. He called me like a dick sucker and all this stuff because I wanted to be friends with Josh and Bryce and all of them. He like hated me for it and just wanted to. Did you to drop him? Of, he just ended up like moving out. So that okay. was kind of like my... So, all right, let's Alfred. get the background on you then a little bit, QCP. So you, sure you, you do, you, you're from Charlotte, but you do the, the Jersey chef routine. It was literally, so ever, nobody really knows the origin of it. It was, it was a skit. Like I said, if the Jersey Shore had a cooking show, I made a cooking video making some random pasta in my kitchen when I was home alone. And it was just like screaming all over the place. And then everyone really liked it. So I continued to do it. And then it went like really viral. How long were we continued. talking? When, when did it hit viral? Like January 2020. Okay, so, a so little, like a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago, and then I, I went, it was a hard transition. I was in denial. I was like, am I really going to just keep on doing this? And I just kept on doing it. What and were it kept you on doing working, before? So, just like <laughs> random skits, like random funny comical Screaming videos. a lot, right? A lot of screaming, lot spitting. Of like being yeah. But what, asshole. like, how old are you? I'm 21. Okay, so you yeah. note this is what you were like, I'm going to try to get a creator career, basically? I just was looking for anything in entertainment. I just went for whatever I could, and that's why TikTok was like such a good opportunity to post whatever you want and just see where it goes because it's going to hit so many different groups of people that you're going to get people that like it no matter what it is. Obviously, you're going to get hate for shitty stuff, and people are going to like that shitty stuff, so I just did whatever and like ended up randomly making that skit one day that just hit and kept doing it. And now it's like just my thing I do every other day, I guess, for work. Just cook myself dinner. And how did we get you involved in this rough and rowdy to fight Chef Donnie? Obviously, you guys are both chefs. You got a following. But how did this come about? It was just a matter of, you know, he looked at it probably as, do I want to fight any TikToker or the the douchey TikToker that cooks. And then so so it, he <laughs> reached, we reached out to you. Oh, so yeah, he approached yeah, yeah. you about and, it? Yeah. And were you interested in like this influencer boxing yeah. thing before? When I immediately, when all that beef started, I called out Danny Duncan like the second that I yeah. could. He had like no idea who I was. We're going to get he Danny Duncan on the pod, by the way. I'm a big right, fan right? of Right, right? Yeah. He's a crazy, yeah. he's a crazy guy. He's cool. And, he like, is. I, I tried to get that going and I just. He didn't want to fight videos. anyone. Well, yeah. well, anybody. Danny Duncan, to his credit, after all that shit happened with the fights, he goes, that's why I didn't want to fight. And by the way, uh, Taylor, Taylor Holder if, didn't if, exactly yeah, if that's look. That's true. Yeah, he was right. Taylor was Holder right. did that's not look like on. Rocky Balboa. So he was basically no. <laughs> like, I wasn't afraid of Taylor. I had nothing nah, to do Danny with it. would have been the most comfortable out of anybody there. Right. So he's, like, he I knew there, he's like, I'm not an idiot. I knew there was problems with how to get paid. That's why I didn't want to do it. Smart and he, he DM'd guy. me That's why I didn't do the it. day after being like, this is why I didn't fight. It had nothing to do with the other shit. But I like it. We got to get him on. So, okay, continue. Sorry, cut you off. Yeah, so I guess that was – they obviously called me out for that, and I was like, there's – I would love to. You know what I mean? It's like the sort of thing where I'm going to stop everything I'm doing in my life and just focus on something. So how long other. have you been training for for this fight? The second that they reached out to me for it. So, like, two months okay. maybe. But I know Donnie has, like, way more experience in boxing. I think he's been doing it. He's like training twice a day. And every like, day. You know, in the end of the day, it's going to be just who's the bigger psycho. Right? Yeah, and you guys look I, about the similar. I thought you were going to be bigger. Like, you look, you guys look I've pretty similar. I've lost 10 pounds in the past two months. You know what I mean? I was Get a very, very bulky guy. I have to make the weight. I think I yep. had to drop, like, from 195 to 184.9 to make the weight class. So that's something I had to cut down, but it's just, like, lean now. And um, 
but I'm excited. Yeah. You feel quicker? Fun. You feel quicker now that you're lighter? Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. I haven't, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't like dance or anything. It's not like I dance or anything like that. I never did. I'm right. like a, a bulky guy. Like I feel like a robot, but now I'm, you know, so feels good to feel loose and just actually be able to. You're, so, you're just so elusive now. That's right. That's it right. will be our best nice. Rough and Rowdy. For people who haven't watched Rough and Rowdy, it's very good. It's very exciting. I am on the announcer call with Dan Big Cat, so it's like funny but real. It's our best card. We have this fight. Um, the two chefs are our main event. We have a guy who's fucking tough as fuck. This kid, Bobby Lang, who's like beating everybody. Fighting Pac-Man Jones, who's a lunatic from everything I've heard. Former like athlete. Awesome football player. Um that's the main. We have a bunch of good fights, and it's in West Virginia. It's actually the Friday before the Jake Paul fight. So yeah, I, I'm I'm excited to see, especially seeing. Oh, but yeah. there's no one thing we don't do, and we're not great at. There is no the beef. real bad blood between you and Donnie. Is there? you know the only thing is just we have you know somebody has to beat the shit out of right. the other guy. So yeah. like when it comes down to that, you can't really just be happy about it and just be like, I love this guy. No, you got to make yourself. You, know, you you're gonna naturally you know right after the fight ends. Right. All that disappears. Like, it really does. Like, we, I, it's not like I'm experienced in it. I've just seen it. We've had, you know? um, we had, I, I did my Dave Portnoy show podcast. It was with Deion Sanders. He had a guy, Charles Haley, which I'm sure most people who are listening to this haven't heard. He's won like a million Super Bowls, Hall of Fame football player. He said something on it, which made me like, it's like, what other thing? When he played football, he wouldn't give like the linemen names. He's like, I would never know their names. I wouldn't learn it Jeez. because I didn't want to think of them as people. Because I can, like, kill somebody it's who's not a oh, person. Okay. Which is a wow. wild that's, that's, way to go about it. That's tough. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. That is uh, that fight's coming up. It's a week from Friday night. Yeah. All right. So, I'm excited. 27th. Yeah. And what's, if, cool. if you haven't seen QCP... Um, what is your actual, like, is it QCP for my, all my handles are just, it's with the, it's, it's QCP. Got it. And, and so where do you live now? I live in LA. I LA. live in Calabasas. Yeah. So do you live I'm with, the, I think I'm the only influencer now that actually just lives on their own and does their nobody, own thing. Uh, nobody else with you. I don't know <laughs> anybody that does that. You know what I mean? It's like, doesn't make oh, any true. sense. There was one of it feels so much better to just be able to control my day. And Who, like, who's this yes man that you have in here that's just nodding everything? This is my cousin <laughs> Noah. Okay. <laughs> well, he's got a yes man in here. Everything yeah, because he was just visiting he's me for the first time, time. Like, right. like two weeks ago, right. three weeks ago. So hey, yo, what's like, up? Yes, right. man. I can't see you. Yeah, he's in here. He, he kind of just <laughs> looks like me with a hat on and yeah. that's it. There was one other influencer we had who was doing it by themselves. I forget who it was. Um, It was um, uh, Brett. Bretman Rock. Rock. Oh, Bretman yeah, Rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, like yeah. in Bretman Hawaii Rock. all by yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, didn't want to do it. All right. Well, I'm excited for the fight. Um, Absolutely. Me too. Yeah. Let's see. By R&R. That's going to be Friday, two weeks. So thank you for coming in. Of course. Nice. Me and we'll be on the call. For sure. All right. This summer, BFFs is partnering with Tinder to share with you guys all of the firsts you can experience on Tinder after the crazy year that we've all had. So last time we played a game to share some of our own firsts. So we have new questions for Dave this week. And the first question is, your turn to control the ox. The first song you play is? Ooh. Favorite song ever. I mean, obviously, you got to know what mood this is, but if we're just so I'll have to go what mood I'm going right now. Um, it would be that, you know, I'm thinking of the the I'm, I'm looking up the one tequila, <laughs> two tequila, three tequila. Um, what's it? A Luke Bryan song. Oh, OK. Do you know country? What yeah. Do you know what I'm, the name of the song right now? Come I'll have it in a second. It. It's a jam. Wait, is it Luke Bryan? No. Luke Bryan. One yeah, margarita. One margarita. OK, that's it's the first one. Song. Right now, it's all mood. That I'd love to hear that song right now. Okay, yeah, I think I think it's good to go with the country on a date instead of like some rap music. All right, next question: intimate venue or music festival for a first date, and why? Intimate venue. I mean, the best things I've ever done have been at the Apollo. Like Sirius invited us to these private events, which, by the way, speaking of, I got invited to a private concert. In the fucking Hamptons Thursday night, Dave Matthews band. You going? Yeah, I you think pumped? I have to. Um, I'm trying to think intimate. You need one with no chairs so you can do a little grind move. Um, <laughs> so what would be like a concert like the Paradise in Boston if it's even open, like a House of Blues? Yeah. Something like that. Okay. So I'm a little more intimate. Not I mean, huge. House of Blues are generally like 2,000 people, you know, yeah. in the stand. Yeah. Okay, last question. It's getting late and you've got a decision to make. Dance all night or be back in bed before midnight? 
But your easiest is- <laughs> question of all time. Be back in bed before midnight. It ain't happening with me, but that's the easiest question of all time. Yeah. Well, you two can always keep it interesting. That's for sure. And so does Tinder, where there's always another first right around the corner. Okay. Uh, special guest, Livy Dunn. Welcome to BFFs. Hello. Hi. Thank so- you for having me. You're welcome. So let's like cut right to it. Like, how do you and Josh know each other? Would we like? I saw you the first time. I think last week, right? You had the video, Josh. You were like responding. Yeah, let's, let's cut to, to each it other. real quick. How much for your bath water, dead ass? <laughs> no, I'm I mean, <laughs> so this is just gonna be like a flirt session. Yeah, me and Dave shouldn't have even two, came. Like me, me and Bree can just sit and kind of like do our shit, and you guys can just <laughs> flirt. Wow. That's what I it's mean, gonna I, be. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that seems like how it's gonna be. No, I have a boyfriend. Yeah, she's a boy. Shot to the heart. Josh, shot to the heart. What do you think? Did about you know that? that, Josh? I didn't know that. All right, I this interview's that. over, abort, clearly. Like abort mission. <laughs> did you honestly? Did you know that? No, I actually didn't know that. <laughs> One fact though. How have what is it? How the turntables have turned? Yeah, how yeah. the table or how the turns tabled. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome anyways. Yeah, welcome. Wow. That changes Yo, this everything. Is a so great start. Though. This is a great Josh start. is just gonna leave. <laughs> How long have you had the boyfriend for? Um, since I started school, so probably about eight months. Oh, okay. What's his, what's his name? Theo. Shout out Theo. My bad. G. So when well, when you say started school, you mean you're a sophomore, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so your sophomore year, or it was COVID? Did you not? I don't even know. It was COVID, like you were at there freshman year. Is that it? No, we were on campus last year, but we started like dating in um, November of last school year. Got it. So the way Josh described you to us, he's like, this is kind of the Vinny Hacker, like females, like super hot in the TikTok streets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like exactly. guys are obsessed with you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I threw the Vinny Hacker title on Earth Bree did, but are we no, that was me. That was Kareem, yeah. I'll take credit. Is that my Thank end? Thank you. <laughs> I just meant a lot of hype and that like you have a lot of simps. That's just true. Mm-hmm. That Same is time. true. <laughs> do you think do you think it's weird? Like, is it weird having a boyfriend and then having so many guys, including Josh, like simp all over you? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't really mind, but um, my boyfriend, I think he understands and he's been really good with all of like my social media stuff and just has been really understanding. And I mean, I think it's like really funny especially on TikTok because people are so bold there, but I think it's quite amusing. (laughs) I didn't hear the beginning. I cut out. Like, so how did it happen? How did like, what happened that made you explode? Um, so it was over quarantine and I started posting videos of me flipping on the beach in a bikini in slow motion. (laughs) And it kind of just blew up from there. And, um, just started getting a lot of followers and it all happened really fast and it was really exciting so you're a jersey girl right yes i am where where in jersey north jersey so i'm from a town called hillsdale it's in bergen county yeah i know bergen my college roommate was from bergen county so how did you end up at lsu then um so i was an elite gymnast which means that you were training for the olympics so i was doing that since i was like 10 years old And I used to compete at these really big competitions and there would be colleges there watching. And one day my coach told me that LSU was interested in me. And I mean, I'm from New Jersey, so I was like, I don't know what LSU is. And I was like, what's LSU? And they were like, Louisiana. I was like, what, Louisiana? And they're like, the colors are purple. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so interested now. Like I was literally like 10 years old, so I didn't really know anything about college. You were that young, you were 10? Oh shit, that's a young time to get coded. I'm not sure exactly how old, I was either like 10 or 11, but the recruiting process has changed since then because like you shouldn't know where you want to go to school when you're like 11 years old. (laughs) And that's like against the rules now, but yeah, recruiting was really young back then. So let me ask you this. You said elite gymnast, uh, like Olympic prepare. Obviously the Olympics are going on now or just ended. I don't even know where they're at. Are you still, is that still a dream or is that dream dead? And like, if so, because I know gymnasts are like super young, like you see them and they're like young teenagers and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, So, so, 
That dream has died. It- so when did that die? Like, when is that like, oh, shit, I'm not going to make when the Olympics. dreams die? <laughs> yeah. yeah. When do they go to die? <laughs> um, well, I got hurt when I was about, I think, 15 or 16 years old. My bone had, like, died in my ankle, and it fractured. So I kind of realized, I was like, maybe this is not for me anymore, and maybe I should just go to college and be healthy and happy. Um, and also, like, the elite gymnastics program is pretty dysfunctional. Um, yeah, I think I that's an understatement. That. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, it is an understatement. So I kind of decided just like, why not go to LSU? And I mean, a lot of my elite friends that I did gymnastics with and stuff, they're at LSU with me. So it's like, why not? Just to clarify, the elite is like the name of the team. You're not just consistently calling yourself like right, You're elite, not just like right? humbly bragging all over. <laughs> yeah, or I can't tell. I think that's the name of the team as you're saying no, it, right? So I'm not just calling myself elite. <laughs> It's I'm like the fucking best. <laughs> yeah. It's like crazy. a bunch of me and my awesome teammates, <laughs> okay. like Team Awesome. All the goats are just at LSU. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just um, the it's dream like team. The level. So, like in gymnastics, there's levels like one through 10. And then you can go beyond that if you want to go train for the Olympics, which I do not want to do and I would not recommend since it's really crazy. But um, Elite is like higher than level 10. And it's honestly just crazy. So, got it. so got gymnasts it. are just like, they're just super. But it's a level. Like there's level yeah. 10 and, and then like elite. Got it. nice sounding level names so that they yeah. can just be like super hard whenever they're telling them like about themselves. Hey, yeah, just playing on that uh, destroyer league. It's fucking <laughs> yeah. What is, I'm looking at this NIL and you're pictured in, in Times Square looks like you got a billboard Times Square celebrate NIL and your future opportunities. Like yeah. who paid for this? Who did this? Well, LSU set it up. So it was okay. like, a, it was a billboard with me and other LSU athletes on it. And it was really cool. Cause I was there in person since I live in New Jersey, I just drove over there. And I mean, it was like surreal. It was awesome that they could orchestrate something like that. At LSU, I know like when you are on a team, especially an elite team and at college, they try to like censor social media for you. Do they like have any say in what you post or what you're supposed to post on TikTok and stuff like that? No, they have not told me like what to post or anything like that. Um, I try to keep like my social media clean. I try not to be controversial or anything Mm -hmm. uh, because I don't want to like start problems, especially like being on a team. Um, I mean, I don't even talk about social media with any of my teammates. We just talk about, like, normal college kid stuff. Well, you're clearly the favorite on the team if they set up a billboard in New York City for you. Right. (laughs) No, literally, like, our coaches and stuff, they, like, treat us all so equally. Like, they're so good at LSU. What? None of your teammates are trying to squeeze in on the action? I feel like that's That's how TikTok works. No one's trying to, like, get some clout on TikTok. Yeah, no clout farming? I mean, like... The way I look at it now is like everyone has an equal opportunity. So if you want to go out there and get followers, then you can go do that. Like everyone has an equal way. So you didn't, do you know about our Barcelona like athlete program? I do. You didn't join it, did you? Well, I mean, <laughs> I watch your, po- I always watch your podcast and I saw the one, I think it was like a week ago and Dave, you didn't know who I was. That's a fact, but that's wow. like... I don't know who I was. I mean, I'm not scope. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 18. Yeah, I'm not scoping around like, uh, you know, TikTok for young, like, girls, <laughs> like, doing shit. I think I'm it would have been creepier business. if you did know who she was. A hundred percent. might have been like, a bigger I can't, flag. Yeah. Bigger I, can't w- I can't win. It's like, if I know she is, I'm like a pedophile. <laughs> if I don't know who she is, it's like she's on the program. You got your quarterback. You got a bunch of LSU athletes, actually. And it's strange because we have the QB and we were talking to him. I, I was like, we had a call the other day. LSU has been, from my perspective, one of the more progressive NIL schools. Yes. Like, it seems like they're very much like, go make money, go do whatever you can. We have other schools, I told this earlier, like Texas, we have a softball player we've been trying to do a shirt for, and they won't let her use the color orange, not burnt orange, orange. They won't let her say tech, like anything she does, they're like, no, no, no. LSU has been on the flip side, super like pro student. Yes, they've been very chill and they've been really helpful. Like the compliance team that like, is at LSU they educate us and they educate the parents and stuff so everyone is on the same page um 
yeah, they're just really. I gotta be honest. I'm a little. First of all, now that I'm like my brain's starting to roll, we had the Barcelona Athletics program going for like a month now. So that podcast was last week when <laughs> Josh put it in. So mm. the, I'll, I'll I'll go young. That's cap, right? <laughs> That that's, could that's be the only reason you didn't join because you not seen to, the athlete barstool athlete post before you would have seen the podcast. Correct. Not to mention we get most people and athletes that originate from the Northeast because like that's still kind of our home. We're in right. New York. We have tons of people who grew up. Did you know what Barstool was before you went to college? Um, I didn't. I just knew it was like an Instagram page though. I didn't know it was like this whole um conglomerate. Like, We're huge at athlete. LSU. Yeah, well, that's part of it. We've been to LSU a million times. We're, like, very popular at LSU. You know, the people that run LSU Barstool try to, like, expose me and stuff. I'm like... What does that mean? You want me to know. get rid of them? I'll fucking get rid of them. What does that <laughs> Just mean? Say the word. Just say the word. Just say the word. Expose you how? What do you, what do you mean expose you? No, like, they'll try to, like, if I'm out or, like, I don't know. I don't really do anything, like, controversial or anything. But sometimes they try to, like... Like, Livy spotted at a party or something. Yeah, Livy- yeah. Or like, like spotted at a bar, like bar stop. That's not exposing. Yeah. You're like a celebrity. <laughs> but but it's it's. Well, nah, are you but... allowed? Are you allowed to be spotted like going out and stuff? Or... Do you mean like if you have a beer or something because like you're like, like that type of shit? I mean, I do go out with my teammates and stuff because like the bars at LSU are 18 and older to get in. Um, but what's the big spot there? Like Fred's, right? Fred's, yeah, that's like our signature bar at lsu but i don't really i don't go there she's too good for it she's too elite (laughs) she's too elite (laughs) come on all right this this next simon by i'm gonna pronounce it wrong and i don't want to in front of a gymnast let's the twisties so you discussed the twisties in our tiktok fuck simone no josh no what it was almost it was almost there simone right no no we i we like simone I didn't say anything bad about her. Everybody I likes Simone. Her name. Oh, yeah. No, it's Simone. You got it. Yeah. yeah. So what were your thoughts? We have a video of you talking <laughs> about the twisties. This is a controversial thing. But the twisties are really scary. I mean, most gymnasts go through it at least once in their career. I have, and it took me, like, weeks to get rid of it. It's I think kind it's such a like... complicated issue because she's part of the original group of gymnasts that had all the, like, horrible shit happen. So yeah. It, yeah, but... it, it's a complicated issue. Yeah, like the twisties are kind of like, it's like a mental block, but you don't know how many flips you're doing in the air. You don't know how many, where you are when you're twisting. So you, like Simone goes so high on all of her stuff. And if, she, I mean, if she doesn't know where she is, then that could be like really dangerous. So I guess it is better that she did pull out because, um, you don't know, you don't want to get hurt when you're at the Olympics. That would be horrible. Right. The only thing, the, the counter, yeah, the counterpoint, I get the danger aspect of it for sure. And I think we're, and I wasn't on either side, but mental part of sports is part of sports. Like if you're a golfer and you're lining up for a putt and it's an important putt, the crowd or whatever, like that, it's as much mental as it is yep. physical, which is as much part. Now you add the element of injury. And like I said, it, no, no one can put themselves i don't think in any of those girls shoes from all the horror stories you hear but it was a super uh you know mental is part of sports yeah. it just is part like 100 i mean yeah. the best way i can kind of describe it is like the twisties is like an airplane not knowing up from down so like yeah you see really it in all sports it's obviously when you're jumping is different oh, but yeah, you I'll see occasionally like, like a, yips and stuff like that's exactly you can't control like it's like your mind and your body are, are disconnected. Got it. Interesting. Um, <laughs> this is why I said earlier, Livy's simps. Livy has simps the same way Vinnie Hacker has simps. We already said that. Um, oh, the bathwater. That's the joke that Josh tried to open, quickly shut down by saying <laughs> I have a boyfriend. Uh, shut down. Shut down. So, so like, what, what, what's like Theo saying? Josh is a good looking, popular dude. It's like, I you guys are TikToking question. back and forth. What is Theo like? Who the fuck's this dude? <laughs> Do I need to write this guy an apology or something? <laughs> He's very understanding and he knows that like social media is what I do and like weird people come up. I mean, I'm not calling you. Wow, Josh. Thanks. No, fuck. <laughs> you no, weird. actually, fuck you. What the fuck? Get off my podcast. <laughs> so can I, can I ask you this then, Livy? Why would you even say you have a boyfriend right now? Wait, what do you mean? Well, 
like if guys love you and simp mm. over you, guys would rather think you're available. It helps the whole like simp brand. Mind. I mean, like yeah. that is true, but like I usually do keep stuff in my relationship private because like Josh, you know, having a public relationship is like the best, you, you right? know. Yeah, <laughs> right? awesome. But um, I feel like the simps love me so much that they don't even care. Yeah, <laughs> guys don't really care. They right. don't. Ah, uh, wrong. And, guys care. Uh, I, I absolutely not Livy's guys. guys care. They don't yeah, care. I, mean, care. I posted. I posted TikToks with them, and people. I mean, people still comment that they want my bath water. So <laughs> now I that I know care. she has a boyfriend, I'm gonna ask for a bath water. So much less. So much less. A hundred percent. Um. There is a string of famous Olivia's that look alike, including Olivia, Olivia Dunn, Olivia Pont, and Olivia Holt. So what were we just saying? Olivia's a hot name? Is no, that look, do you have the pictures? They literally all yes. look like they triplets. They all are like pretty similar looking. The one on the left. No, none of these are Olivia. Yes. Yes, the one, the one on the is left Olivia. Is. The one, the one on, on the left, left is The one on the Olivia. left is. Okay. Olivia, I know Olivia Pontoon is the middle one, right? Mm -hmm. Pontoon. <laughs> Pontoon <laughs> boat. <laughs> And I don't know who Olivia Holt is. She's obviously on the yeah. right. All right. A Disney girl or something, I think. Yeah. Nickelodeon. Yeah. Actress. Okay. So let's do Boomer or Zoomer. Zoomer, Boomer. Okay. You know so have you ever seen this, Livy? I don't think so. So we put up a face. And it basically will be you three against me to a degree. And it, it's from different generations. So it's just do you recognize who the person is. Some will be of my era. Some of yours. Okay. Fuck, I feel we like we did, did this. We already did this guy. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. and I don't Wait, remember so what it. What am I supposed to do? I'm, guess you know who, guess this is? who this is. If you know. Oh, I, oh, I have, I don't know. <laughs> Axel Rose, Guns N' Roses. We already did this. I, I wonder if they're all going to be the same. Damn, I didn't even know that one. Awesome band, by the it's way. It's okay. And Livy, you guys, I assume, know the songs, bad. but... <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're not great at this. Axl Rose, Paradise City. Take me down to Paradise City with the, gr the grass is green. Oh, I know that song. Pretty. Yeah, yeah oh. they're, they got monster hits. All right. Was Who's Guns next? N' Roses the one where you had me play the, the song because nobody knew? I forgot what the... Yes. Yeah, Paradise yes. or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, all right. Okay. Oh, oh, fuck. Does Dave know this one? Dave should know this one. I should know this one? Yep. <laughs> Do you know who this is, Livy? Do you know the name? I don't know who this is. You don't either? Really? Do you, Josh? I know, like, I, it's on the tip of my tongue. I know it's this like, one. Why should I know this one? Spoilery or it's something like, like a that? a musician or an actress? She's a She's rapper. A rapper, you oh, could rapper. say. She's a she, singer, I guess. Josh, you said it. it. You got it right. Um, is it Koi something? Koi Lorraine. Koi Lorraine. Oh, because she was on a uh, million dollars worth of game? Yep. Yeah. yeah, we've talked I about her. I unfollowed her, though. Yeah, yeah, I unfollowed her. Oh, why? What'd wow. she do? Is she posting? No, she was just posting a lot, and it was like I, I lost interest. You didn't no just like, mute the post? No. I've had to do that to people. I'm just like, bro, I got to mute your posts. It's too too much in my feed. Oh. We've done a lot. Yeah, yeah we've why, done a lot of repeats. Why are we doing so many repeats? We are. I, Maybe they're, I know they're this testing one. you. This is I feel so, like, uncultured. Like, I just don't know any of these people. Is that I was gonna Bill Murray? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. That is. Yep. He's Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters the yes. original. Yep. He's in a million movies. He's What About Bob? Yeah. Wow. Livy's Livy's doesn't know any Livy's, of them. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> Wide over there. I feel like we're going through. A, oh. Uh, Livy. That's my friend. She's cool. Who? That's my friend. Who? Suni. Suni. She is just, she like just your Olympian. friend? Olympian. She's an Olympian. She just won oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. I recognize her now that she won the gold medal. Yeah, yeah. Minnesota. Lee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I, see, yep. I think I seen, does she post TikTok? Like, she posts TikTok. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay, yeah. I've seen her. i seen her. I know who this is. She's popping off on TikTok lately. Yeah. Cool. Yep, yep. Now now that you put it, I recognize. I have, a, I have a quick question. So what's your relationship since you said you gave up the Olympic dream? Like, what? how well do you know some of the girls that are on the team? Like, I see you and Michaela Maroney going back and forth, and I know her, so... I was just curious, like what? Do you though, Kareem? I, do, I do, do because you've that. promised me a pizza review with her for two. And years. we went to Los Angeles, and she had surgery, and we couldn't see her, and then mm -hmm. we never went back. Two years, but since you've been here, I can get you as a pizza. Review. We'll right. get. We'll have to get her on the pod. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, call him out. Dave. I had. Let I had know. to give her a shout out. Okay. I mean, all the girls on the Olympic team, I used to like train with them, so like 
watching the Olympics this year was extra nerve wracking because I was like, I know them on a personal level. So I want them to do like extra good, but yeah, I used to train with them. So it's on the elite team, on the elite team. Livy, are you in a, like Howard Johnson's hotel? <laughs> I'm like what? This wallpaper looks like the '70s show no, back there. What is going on? Though. I love it. I am. I'm at LSU right now, but I can't move into my dorm yet. So I've been living out of a hotel. That's what it looks like. Okay, that makes sense. Right. <laughs> All right. Wallpaper's crazy. Both Steve. <laughs> Too much Steve. Oh. Not even oh. a clue. I know if it was like a. I feel like if this was a picture of him when he was younger, I would know. I could get his name. I feel like it's one of those, but I don't know who this is from this picture. I don't even have a clue. I have no clue. Probably one of the most famous directors of all time, Steven Spielberg. Yeah. Oh. So he did like Jaws. I think he did. Didn't he do Forrest Gump? Did he do Forrest Gump? I, um, I would still, I would never see, I've never seen his he, face. Like the, he, I know he did Saving Private Ryan. Did like he, E.T., didn't he? Spielberg, yep. yeah. E.T. He's like the legend, the biggest legend in. Yep. Oh, that's um, Kendall. Yes. Kendall Vertez, I think. Is she the sprinter? She's from Dance Mom. <laughs> she's from Dance oh. Mom. Oh, I thought she she's a mo- that, wait, hot. She's a mother, this woman? No, she, her mom like her mom was the mom on Dance Mom. How old is this person? She's going to be a freshman in college. Okay. I think. Josh, were you talking about the Netherlands sprinter that went like super yeah, viral? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the TikTok? one that went super viral because she was just looking great while she this was girl's- sprinting. Yeah, pretty. She looks yeah, older. That's why they ask, like, how old is she? Look like at all. Like Rachel Ray? Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like when you say it, I'll know it. Uh, no idea. Oh, I know who this is. This was my childhood crush. Really? Do you know Josh? Yeah. No. Yeah. I got she you. was everybody's childhood crush. No idea. Everybody's. Did I know who this is? Like, not yours, Josh. My generation, a lot of people figured out where their body parts were with her. Alyssa Milano. Okay. okay. So, like just you're, like... You're she, like, first, first, like, boner type girl. It's just like, what's that feeling going yeah, on in yeah. my... Like, no, I get that. Yeah, All right, yeah, moving on. <laughs> she had Tony Danza. She was on um, a show with Tony Danza. I know who it is. That's my boy. That's my boy. I don't know who that 24, is. 24K okay, Golden. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, wait, who is it? 24k golden. I feel like I should. L- Libby, you don't know. Oh my god, I don't know. Shit, and right? she's too busy Holy doing shit. gymnastics. Yeah, like you what you, you stink at this game. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm so bad. He's big on TikTok. Hey, well, he's a rapper, you, but he's uh, he's huge. He made that song "Mood." It's like, why are you always yeah. in a mood? Why are you always yeah, in yeah, a yeah. mood? I, I recognize the name. Wait. <laughs> Who is that? I know this one. Do you, you guys don't know this one? Oh, is Charlie. that the fighter like kid? Charlie? Is that like Charlie? You bit my finger, maybe? Like, <laughs> is that the kid who fights? Charlie, you bit my finger. No. Has Bula, Dave? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> no. Oh. I think it might be Charlie bit my finger. Dave. Yeah, right. No, it's her. Her name is Marley. It's the Yeet Baby on TikTok. You guys never seen her? Yeet Baby. What's a Yeet Baby? Oh. She's like they just start <laughs> eating the baby across the room. They're just she, throwing no their baby around. She has like five million followers on TikTok. She's Let's hilarious. What? Yeah, we're definitely on different sides of TikTok because I've never heard of that. Yeah, I mean, I've but never... you're not like you're both. You and Josh are on the same side. You're both like thirst traps. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take that. Just like the same side of TikTok. Thank that you, has a compliment, I guess. I think I'm. I'm Dave, you're kind of on the it, thirst trap side, I'd say. Yeah, right. Dude, come on. Uh, can you get that nice tan going? You can't I do have a good tan. I haven't had it today. I've been doing podcasts all fucking day. All right. You all right. Nice skinny jeans. <laughs> Skinny jeans pop, Josh. I know. I every time I wear skinny jeans, people send the the picture of the dog, the the pug like standing, being like forty year old wears skinny jeans. <laughs> it's I guess sent to me every time. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think that's everything. Thanks for coming on, Livy. Oh, thank you for having me. We we Wait. had another game if you guys want to do it. Answer the internet quick. Let's just say TI if you want. Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Be interesting. Do- Okay, you gotta show me, Kareem. Uh, what is the greatest single season of television ever? What? What does that even mean? What is the greatest? Can single I can I name season? two? Yeah. Office season three, Homeland season one. O- Office uh, season three is funny. I don't know the other one. 
Um, Homeland is a perfect first season. On a, it's a Showtime like terrorist kind of situation. I'd say Fresh Prince of Bel Air, season Ooh. two. You got to do it while it's still like the the original Viv. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it can't be the the new, the older the, the newer one or whatever. It's got to be the OG Will, Will Fam Smith family. What do you watch, Livy? Um. Outer Banks. I mean, I don't really watch like any old shows or anything like that, but I know I literally, I don't watch that much Netflix. So. Uh, there's no way your answer for best season on TV People fucking ever. like Outer Banks. Outer Banks, Outer Banks is Banks. huge. I'm trying to think. Um, all TV. All TV. Um, guys, brother. People like Outer Banks. I can see that being a girly show. I don't hate that answer. Yeah. I mean... It's like new though, but like it's not like it's not the best, but it's like. What's your favorite? Like, is that your favorite show? Probably. Okay, right. I can live with it. All right. I guess I can live with it. <laughs> okay, uh, this the is Bridges a good one. What asleep? fictional character oh, would you asleep. love to beat up? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Who do I? Mm. Oh, I know, I know. This might come off. This might come off wrong when I say this, but like, just pretend this person was a dude, all right? And it's not a girl, because that sounds weird. But <clears throat> the girl in Bob's Burgers, bro, pisses me off so much. <laughs> like, I mean, just to like a new level. I don't know what it is about her, but it's just like <laughs> when I would watch Bob Burgers, I would get so weird. But it kind of made me love her character, too, because I was like the fact that they did it. So like, that's what she's supposed to do. You know what I mean? She's supposed to piss you off and be annoying. They did it so well. I would actually like hate it when she came on camera. I have what was the question? <laughs> Who? What fictional character would you beat up? Oh. Mine would be, for some reason, just gets on my last nerve, Caillou. You <laughs> beat up Slap little baby Caillou. Baby? <laughs> Come Slap on. Slap around a baby? All right, I'm way more confident <laughs> with my answer now. <laughs> like his voice, like I just can't stand it. It is pretty Sorry, annoying. Caillou. You're just out yeah. here beating up babies. Always Caillou, can. does Caillou have cancer? Is that like part of the show or not? Oh, no, it's no. just bald. He's just a bald baby. That's just like a stupid meme. That's just like a stupid meme or something people say? Yeah, which I, I think so. Okay. I, hope I was going to so. say, beating up a baby with cancer? That, <laughs> that'd be too much, yeah. yeah. That'd be way too much. Who would you beat up, Dave? This is going to be a weird answer, and I don't even know that I could beat this person up. But like one of my – this is a really weird answer. One of my favorite movies is Million Dollar Baby, and I don't like when – the main character at the very end gets hit in the head with the stool by the fighter and like paralyzes her. So I beat that person. Oh, up. that's a good I told one. You be a, I told you that'd be a weird that's, answer. Oh, you've seen the movie. My, that's my dad's favorite movie. Yeah. I like shut the movie off before it happens because I hate watching uh -huh. it. anxiety. And I watch it every time it's on, but then I just cut it at that. You part. know, it's going to happen. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> do you want to do another one? Yep. A couple more. Okay. Uh, what restaurant did you think was nice as a kid, but realized wasn't nice when you became oh, an adult? Hmm. Mm. Um, probably for me, um, I used to get dressed up to go to this restaurant. I used to put on like blush when I was a little kid. The Olive Garden, mm -hmm. I <laughs> the, yeah, the fettuccine Alfredo. I mean, it Wait. still is good, but like I didn't didn't know it was a chain restaurant. Yeah, I mine's know. probably the Cheesecake Factory. I used to think it was super okay. fancy. We had a. Uh... Cheesecake Factory still fucks. Oh, oh it's, it's the, super it's good, awesome. but it's not like a nice, fancy restaurant. I thought it My was. internet is so bad. What did Livy say? What was the one you got oh, dressed up for? I said the Olive Garden. That's, uh, that's a good answer. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dave, you a cheesecake guy? Just like in general? You like a slice or what? I don't like cheesecake. I like the Cheesecake what? Factory. I only Fuck. like original cheesecake, not the flavored shit. I thought we were just going to become so much closer. Anyway. Cajun, Cajun Chicken Littles from Cheesecake Factory. Mm -hmm. Fuck. I would say my answer is, you guys know what Eastside Mario's is? No. I think oh. I've heard of it. Is that it. A, can so I, a Canadian I thing? I think it's a Canadian thing. Yeah. They do like, it's. I would say it's like the equivalent to an Olive Garden maybe. Like they do the like salad with like uh, the jalapeno peppers or whatever the fuck's in them. The house salad. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. I used to I, that was so cool. So I always thought that was like a really nice place. I always I don't know if it's a restaurant but like I thought Chuck E. Cheese was like the joint like I love like I want Chuck E. Cheese and then I went back for a pizza for you I went another it's disgusting place fucking dump. disgusting it's a the dump. food is so it's bad worse now though like do they just like not care as much about the Chuck E. Cheese now or do you think when you were a kid I don't know but they they're fucking not good and I love going like you told me 
I planned like a month around going to Chuck E. Cheese. It was a big fucking deal. Right. <laughs> you ever watch a movie like from when you were a kid, like Star Wars or like one of those movies? And like I watched Star Wars. When, I mean, I guess it's different. I watched Star Wars when I was probably like seven for the first time or six. Right. So it was like when I saw it again, when I might have been like 13, it was kind of like, oh, huh? Yeah, that happens Honestly, a lot. Star Wars is a perfect I example. I remember it like yeah. Mm -hmm. still fucking amazing movie, though. Love Star Wars. Yeah. Okay. Um, one, more? one more. Yeah. If you had to pick any six people for a season of a reality TV show, who would it be? Who? What do we got all the six people? Yeah, this is. Wh why don't we do like top three people you'd want to see on a reality TV show together? Okay. Okay. Do we want to pick like influencers? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Six people is fucking aggressive. Yeah, six people is crazy. Let's do three. Three influencers. I could do a draft. See who. Yeah, who's this? The best I mean, what, what are we doing this for nine hours? <laughs> yeah, this no, we're doing ridiculous. this quick. Ready? I'm, I'm going to say easy. You throw Bryce and Addison in a fucking house. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to see that. Let's see where it goes down. And then just for shits and giggles, you add in like <laughs> James Charles. Gruen. Gonna ice it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, actually, you're right. You throw Gruen in there. I'm you putting Gruen Bryce, in my house. Gruen and Addison in the house? Uh -huh. Come on. Amazing. Something. I would say like Tana has to be in there somewhere because she would be. Mm -hmm. She's good reality. Tana player. may be the most universal human like everybody. Before I did this, I didn't know who Tana was. Now she's brought up a hundred times a show. Mm -hmm. so. Dave, who's someone you hate from like social media? I'd want to put you in a house with them and watch that. I don't really hate anybody. <laughs> no? On that I, uh, no, not really. There's no one. No one I hate. Solid. Hmm. All right, you and that. I I don't even know if you guys can hear me. I just keep getting things <laughs> saying I'm cutting out. Okay. No, you're. It's all right. No, we can hear you. Okay. All right. So did we answer Livy? We good? That I think we went through all of it. Appreciate you coming on. Um, Thank you so much for having me. You'll if we come to LSU, which we are for a football game, you'll have to come. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Bree, are you going so there for your college tour? Thing? Yeah, spring tour. I'll be at LSU, so I'll see you there too. I'll see you. That'll be so fun. Yes, can't wait. All right. Thank you, Livy. All right. Thank you. Bye. See you guys. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye.